Hi, my name is Kevin Meissner. Thank you for joining my YouTube channel. Today on this wonderful Sunday, I'm going to answer some of your questions regarding my music. If you haven't listened to my first studio album Notebook Songs yet, please give it a try. The link to the usual streaming platforms is in the description down below. Also make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and you will not miss any of the following music videos coming very soon. But now let's get started. What was your intention behind the whole project? Good question right at the beginning. Well, I've always wanted to make music. I've always wanted to express myself and my feelings in a different way. And Notebook Songs gives me the opportunity to communicate precisely these emotions and to bring it out to others. Will you publish note sheets for your music? Yeah, probably in the near future I will be posting sheet music for some of my songs. It's up to you. Just write down in the comment section what do you want to see first. What was the first song you made? Okay, I wrote my first song about four years ago. Um, but in fact, it's not one of the songs on the album. It's a song called Serenity. You can still find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, I think I will link it up here. Well, from the Notebook Songs album, it's Polar Beer. I wrote it back in November last year. I remember sitting on my piano and watching an auto documentary about the climate change and yeah, just transform my thoughts about it into piano chords. Do you do the complete producing process on your own? On a musical level, I do everything myself, like writing the piano melody or composing the string parts. Um, I think that the mixing process is also a big part of the creative process and, uh, and I don't want to give that in someone else's hands because afterwards it's no longer my own song. Well, for the mastering job, I see it differently. Um, it's one too huge thing for me and before I deepen my knowledge into it, I give it away to people who know what they are doing. Okay, this is a perfect chance to thank my friend Stefan. He plays the violin in my tracks and without his performance the tracks wouldn't be like they are. I also want to give a big shout out to Liane. She lent me her voice for Golden Clouds and Burning Trees. And also Nina behind the camera. She is doing my visuals. All three Instagram channels are linked in the description down below. Make sure to check them out. How long have you been playing piano? I've been playing piano since 2011, I think. But before that I've learned the accordion. You know, it's the thing you pull apart and push buttons on both sides. But I quickly lost interest in that and simply knew that the piano is my instrument. Shortly afterwards I took piano lessons from a friend of our family. He is a cantor and organ player in a church. And the special thing was that he is blind. So my piano lessons specialized more on hearing and recognizing sounds than on reading notes. What kind of music do you listen to and which artists influence your work? I might say that I'm listening to classical piano music, but it's not like that. I listen to music from many different genres. But if I have to be more specific, I would say that I mostly enjoy indie music. For example, Bob Dylan, Novo Amor, All the Luck in the World. Um, but I also like movie soundtracks and film scores. I like the mightiness and the majesty of the different instruments. And yeah, so this is actually the music I want to produce. And for this, I think I have to look up to artists like Olaf for Arnolds, Nils Fram, or Martin O'Donnell from the Halo OST. Uh, nice games, by the way. What do you do for a living? Uh, not music. I am working in a sales team for a car manufacturer. Do you listen to your own songs? To be honest, I don't like listening to my own music. 
but it's not because I don't like it it's just because I keep finding points that I want to improve because you become extremely self-critical but I think it's a common disease among artists especially for musicians When can we expect new music? I plan to release an album every year, so the next one will be in 2022. But we are already working on two music videos that will appear here soon. Um, also, I have uh, some singles in the pipeline that I will release at irregular intervals this year. What would you say to someone experiencing your music for the first time? Last question. Um, I would say just approach the songs, turn off your head and let the music sink in. I would also be very interested in what you think about the songs, not in a way of I like the song or it's absolutely bad, rather in a way of uh, how do you feel after listening and how does your mood changes. I know it myself, you hear a track for the first time and the song basically gives you a message. but. Other than that, what can I say? Um, I would like to thank everyone who takes a little bit of their time listening to the expression of my feelings in form of my songs. And yeah, peace. <laughs>